Hello everyone, welcome to this latest video on techmadeeasy.co.uk. In this video we're going to be looking at how to change the RAM and the hard disk on a 2008 and early 2009 white Apple MacBook, which is this device here. See the Apple logo there. Very, very simple uh, procedure to undertake. All you need is a coin and a very, very small Phillips head screwdriver. That's a cross head screwdriver. So what we have to do Let's just turn the laptop upside down and then we have the battery compartment here and the slot here in which we insert the coin and turn a quarter turn clockwise you can see the battery has become separated so we just lift that out that's the battery there put that to one side and now hopefully you can see this on the video we've got a metal strip that runs along here and around to here and on it there are three screws, one there, one there, and one there. And what we need to do next is remove those screws, so I'll just get in there with the screwdriver. It's important that you do get the right size screwdriver. If you try and do this with a screwdriver that's too large, you risk damaging the screws, and then you really will be in trouble. Providing you've got the right size screwdriver, these should come out fairly simply, so that you shouldn't have too much problem removing these screws. They don't come all the way out, but you can see as I've removed those, this little steel bars come away, and then we just need to prise that out. So you can see the bar there. And then what we have inside is we have our two RAM slots here, and the hard disk is just round here. So we'll look at that in a minute. I'll just show you first how to remove and insert these RAM chips. On each slot you've got a little plastic lever, and all you need to do to remove the RAM chip is just pull on the lever and the chip becomes separated and then you can just slide it out. Okay, so you take your old chip out, you get your new chip and just slide it in until you feel some resistance and then just push with firm pressure across the back from either side and it will just click into place. You can do that with both of them. Now let's have a look at the hard disk. So you can see the hard disk is in this part of the case, you can just see the end of it here. And what we've got is a little plastic flap, so we'll just pull that out with our screwdriver, you can see it there. And then just pull gently and the hard disk will come out. So there you have the hard disk, this is a 500 gig one. And the hard disk is held in this little steel caddy, and all we have to do is with the four screws there, remove those, take the hard disk out, insert our new hard disk and screw it back up with those four screws. Once you've done that, just position the hard disk back into the tray. It should go without too much difficulty. can be a bit tricky sometimes just to get it lined up. There you go. It's, okay, it's important not to force it as you're trying to position it or you may damage one of these levers as it was just catching on this lever here. But once you've got it in, just a small push across the back, evenly placed pressure just to make sure it's in securely. And then just tuck that little plastic clip back underneath the drive. And then we're done. All you have to do is just put this back in and I don't know if you can see in the video, it has a little locator lug there, so we just sort of position that in place. And due to the design of it, it just sort of slots back in. And then while holding it in place, just screw the screws back in. best to tighten all three of them loosely and then when you're sure that all of them have located properly you can then tighten them up. I'll just do the last one here, just out of sight. So as I say just tighten them up once all three have been located. Good as new. And then all we have to do is reinsert the battery into our laptop. 
So just push it in this end first, and then just with a little bit of pressure on the top, put the, the uh, coin back in, and then a quarter turn anti-clockwise, and the battery's back in. And that's all there is to it. If you've done it successfully, then you should still be able to power up your laptop as so. So that's absolutely fine. And then once you've done that and you've booted into um, OS X or into Windows or into Linux, just check that you've got all the available memory that you should have and that you've got all the available hard disk space that you should have. And uh, we're done. Thanks for watching, guys.